failure. Failed. Fail a thousand times. Failing. Failure. Failures. Failure. These things oftentimes look like overnight successes, but they never are. I was at a, about a year ago, I was at a conference and, uh, and Dennis Crowley, is what the founder of Foursquare, was at, the, was at the conference. I think Foursquare at the time was maybe two years old. And someone said to, someone in the audience raised their hand and asked Dennis a question. They said, well, how does it feel to be like an overnight success? You know, in like two years you created this company from scratch and you're, you know, and, and, and you're the darling of the New York Tech team and you have millions of, of, of users. How does that feel? And Dennis said, actually, I've been working on this idea for 15 years. 13 of those were failures before I got to the last two years. So it hasn't been an overnight success. I really don't see a lot of blog posts or press or commentary asking the question, when did you know you were failing? Even at OkCupid, I mean, we started eight years ago, and I'll be honest that, you know, 2008, 2009, 2010 were tough years. You know, the economy crashed and we hadn't quite had as much success as we'd wanted and we were starting to run low on cash and there were, there were days in 2009 where we really questioned, what are we doing here? It's been six years. I remember very vividly at dinner where we had a spreadsheet where we said, well, how many more payrolls can we make uh, before we have to do something radical? You are constantly failing as a startup. It's how quickly you rebound from that failure that might lead to success. Found.com, which is a company that I, I put a small angel investment into. Fab.com started as a gay social networking site. And in doing that, they realized, okay, there's some commerce around our user base that we can go into. And so they became a gay daily deal site. And in that, they learned that maybe it's something about the DNA of the types of products we're selling. And that DNA that they determined was design. And so Fab, through their first two failures, led to become a modern, a modern design focused flash sales site. Fab's doing really well right now as Fab, but it's only because of those first two failures and those first two starting points that they were able to spot the opportunity to become what they are today. So another thing that helped us make the leap was the idea of talking through what if this was a complete failure. What if a year from now we've graduated from Harvard Business School, we tried to build a business and no one bought it, like it, it was a total crash and burn. Um, we realized that it wasn't a failure because we would have learned so much along the way and we would actually be more qualified for the jobs that we would have interviewed for if we hadn't done it. I'm just trying to get the point across there's a lot of luck. You can do everything right and still fail and you have to be confident in that. Like You have to be good with that and it's okay to fail. You learn a lot more from failing than you learn from succeeding.